He requested your attendance in Faerun to gather with your friends and allies. Those who stood against the Absolute at your side, a reprieve from the Blood War. A few hours of respite with the stars above and good company to cheer you. Karlak's heart can take the strain of leaving Avernus for a few short hours, but it might burst with joy to see those friends again. Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more Thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. Has it not? You're looking very well indeed. Our skeletal friend will be very pleased to see I found my way here, despite my invitation getting lost in the post. Busy as ever. Better that than the reverse, wouldn't you say? Every major publishing house on the Sword Coast has been vying for my upcoming book on the subject of our adventures together. I've gotten quite good at replicating your signature, so you needn't even bother with the release form. You might help me with the title, though. I'm considering the hero and me. What do you think? Oh, terribly sorry, but you mistake me, my friend. I'm only accepting complimentary feedback at this time. Perhaps, once the manuscript is finished, you'd even be willing to write a foreword? Or better yet, I'll write a draft and you can just sign your name. Better still, I'll sign it for you, hmm? Ah, your success really has been wonderful for my reputation. But you mustn't let me hog your attention all night, my friend. You've many friends to chat to, and I'd love to listen in. You made it! <laughs> you would think someone of my vintage would be inured to the passage of time. Yet these past six months have seemed endless without your company. But now, our paths cross once more. We have all pined for each other's company, I sense. I cannot imagine otherwise, after what we shared. That bond was forged in a crucible that can never be stoked again, Oak Father willing. It is a bond that can weather any distance. Any passage of time. I know it can. For I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. I always do. Should I ever decline, assume a doppelganger has taken my place. That was more than worth the wait. Rest assured, my arms shall be ready. Now, we have much to catch up on. Do not allow me to ramble on. I am eager to hear all you've been doing. In 
that case, very well. Our community grows rapidly. In six months, we have turned what was once a shadowy wasteland into a true home for all. In another six months, I would wager the scars of the past will be entirely invisible, even to those who remember them. The old masonry of Moonrise Towers and Rythwin have been repurposed into new homes, and the land is rich with harvests and bountiful trees. Nature and civilization are in harmony, stronger together. Ah, huh. my greatest purpose and greatest reward. Those children have been through more than fate had any right to cast at them, and yet they go on as resilient as anything in nature. I impart what knowledge I can to them, yet, in truth, they teach me far more. The land we saved is theirs, and they will cherish it, I'm sure. Daniel and Oliver shall never want for friends again. You are welcome whenever you like, and for however long you please. Now, please, tell me all, and spare no details. I shall not lie. I have an ulterior motive in wishing to hear all. It is the children, you see. My charges. Their appetite for bedtime tales is greater than I could ever have anticipated. Another story, Daddy Halsin. Another is the chorus that greets me each nightfall. They have all but exhausted my repertoire in but a few short months. No mean feat to give them the lifetime I have lived. I desperately need new material, please. My reputation is at stake. I am all ears, though I never cared for that phrase. A rather unsettling image. <laughs> you have kept yourself busy. I expected no less in truth. I shall be able to keep the children enthralled for a few more nights yet, thanks to you. And should you wish to retell of your exploits in person, well, I shall not object to a night off. Now, it would be cruel of me to hoard you all to myself for the evening, as much as I would like to. I shall leave you to the others for now, unless there was anything else. Uh, before you go, I have something for you. Just a little keepsake, really. Do you remember how I told you I like to whittle? I made this. <laughs> Ducks are my favorite, but... I thought they were particularly fitting in this case. They are migratory birds, of course, traveling far and wide with the turn of the seasons. Yet, they always find their way back to where they belong. <laughs> Just like old friends find themselves back in each other's company. Just a token to remember me by. Now, I've taken up enough of your time. Go on. Enjoy the festivities. We can speak again later. Be careful to not overindulge tonight, lest I lose control. And... Well, look who it is. So, how are you enjoying the hells, my dear? I assume they're darling as ever. Don't spoil the mood. We'd have a good time after all, reminiscing with old. Friends. Casador's mansion has become my palace and played host to every kind of banquet and soiree and masquerade imaginable. And of course, has seen its fair share of hedonism, clandestine deals, and the occasional disappearance. Whatever it takes to build up my influence over those who matter, I'm spinning my web. 
Power grows slowly, but I have nothing but time now. Oh, I wouldn't say ruler. Any old fool can sit on the throne. I would be more of a puppet master. For all my freedom to walk in the sun, it's still much more fun to pull the strings of power from the shadows. <laughs> but the important thing is I am doing wonderfully. Finally having a life that's worth living. And who knows what's next? There's an entire world out there. Ready for the taking. <laughs> Perhaps the next time we meet, we'll have grander conquests to toast. I did miss you, you know. There is a sense of loneliness that comes with power. We did share a wonderful adventure, you and I. A pity to see it end in some ways. But... We have great new lives stretching out before us, and great new adventures to go on. I will never forget the time we spent together, though. And I know you'll never forget me. Until next time, darling. Well, well. Look what the Tressim dragged in. Professor Gail Decarius of Blackstaff Academy. Educator of the esteemed School of Illusion. A pleasure to remake your acquaintance. Fear not. My heart has survived far crueler partings and lived to tell the tale. I assure you, I meant exactly what I said to you at the time. Perfect as they are, some things aren't made to last forever. I feel quite certain that the bond of friendship between us will have far more longevity. This is why Mrs. Decarius and I will be waiting an eternity more for grandchildren. Psst! Shoo, Tara! I have to say, I'm quite grateful to just be Gale for the evening. I fear my students find me somewhat intimidating due to my, uh, explosive former reputation. I seem to put the fear of the gods into them. Or the fear of Mistra, to be more specific. I surrendered the crown of Carsus to her, as I told you I would. And, in return, she cured me of the orb at last. Even now, I struggle to put the feelings into words. It was like... exhaling for the first time after holding my breath for so very long. Of course, I haven't clarified with my students that the orb is no longer a threat. The legend of my explosive capabilities is an excellent means of controlling a classroom. Too good, if anything. I spend most of my time trying to convince them how much fun the study of magic can be. But it'd be easier to crack a smile on an intellect devourer than some of my pupils. Ah, so you still remember our little lesson. It was quite something to share such a moment with you, though it vanished all too quickly. Teaching you was hardly an effort at all. Not like my present cohort of apprentices. Oh, they try their best, of course, when they can manage to stay awake. The cheek of them! Nothing a well-placed swipe from Tara can't fix, though. And what of you? What are you making of this newfound lease of life we earned? I almost feel sorry for the devils in your path. I mean, I don't. Of course. I'm sure they deserve it. 
I've told my students plenty of tales about our escapades. You're something of a hero to them, you know? I'd be delighted to introduce you to my current cohort as a guest lecturer, perhaps. I'm sure they'd have plenty of questions for you. Excellent. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist the allure of sharing your expertise. Of course, you'll be most welcome to stay with me in my tower. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, my apologies, Tara. That would be our tower. It will give us plenty of time to catch up on your adventures. I'm very curious to know what you've been up to these past months. But I suspect the telling of that tale would keep you tied to me all evening. So, in the spirit of selflessness, I encourage you to mix and mingle for now. With time enough to come. I can't believe this is real. <laughs> Never thought we'd gather like this again. It's quite... Uh, yes, <laughs> it's really quite lovely. Good to see you again. I can't believe this is real. It's quite... you are gods i must look a mess i just rolled out from under a pesky ogre when withers yanked me in <laughs> oh i didn't mean well i didn't mean that i just gutted the ogre not <sighs> how about i change the subject before i dig this hole any deeper it's so good to see you and i've got so much to tell the trolls i've torn open the ghouls i've cleaved the stories I've been itching to tell. Uh, I don't suppose you'd indulge me. Yes, but just the one, or I'll be yammering all night. You want to hear about the stegosaurus that bullied Candle Keep, the impossible lich, or the young dragon who crawled out of Deeping Cave? It did. Though the adventure had peaceful beginnings, as so many often do. I'd made camp south of Daggerford. The night was calm, lit by the green lanterns of a caravan. I was about to dig into a hearty stew when it began. A deluge of bone. It was as if a thousand skeletons were walking the skies and had split into pieces. Skulls, knuckles, ribs rained down on me. I turned my skin to bark and made for the light. The bones clumped and clattered into unspeakable aberrations. I cast and carved until I reached the light. I found no caravan, but a sickly green lich. Each fallen bone was a shard of its essence, an impossibility. Yeah. But what does a world of nether brains and magic crowns care about the impossible? I raged through the night. By morning, the fields were buried in shards of bone, the liches included. I won't lie, losing the eldritch blasts and the hexes took some getting used to. Nothing but void, where once there was hellfire. So, I stoked new fires in myself using the lessons my father once taught me. Now, 
the Blade of Frontiers is a ranger. A true hunter of monsters. A warden in more than just name. Go on, the night's young. You shouldn't waste a moment of it. Or waste a single drop of wine, for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oops, did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He wasn't kidding. Where's well, your mad bastard? You brought us back! <laughs> Commander Zula won't know where the fuck we went! <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait to say hi to everyone. Look at them, the beauts. Rest up, soldier. My tin can will be all right for the night. And you and me will get to sleep with both eyes shut for the first time in six months? Here, here. Enjoy it, soldier. You've earned it. Oh, hey. Before you go, I've been thinking about those blueprints we found. Zariel's probably got a load of Cambians guarding that forge. I'm sure she knows I'll want in. She'll do anything to stop me from fixing this thing. I might have an in with one of the guards, though. An old acquaintance called Flo. Not sure she'll help us, but maybe. We might get to come home permanently. Maybe even sooner than we think. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. Honestly, so have I. Oh, come here, will you? It's been forever. feel a little more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. I'm not entirely sure I'd agree. In fact, I found a nice meadow not far from where I live now. Every now and again, I'll spend the night there. For all time's sake. I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. Wandering, mostly. The adventuring life is almost a tonic when you're not constantly threatened by brain monsters and cultists. I can finally see the world beyond the cloister. One of my first stops was the House of the Moon in Waterdeep. It's the largest temple of Saluna in existence. It seemed like the perfect spot to reflect on my parents, on where they came from, and where I came from too, I suppose. Hard to imagine, isn't it? Me, of all people, in the lair of the Moon Witch herself. God, your truest act of heroism was putting up with all that char and drivel I was spouting for so long. Oh, I know they are. I can still sense them, I think. And one day we'll be reunited. Well, I've had run-ins with my former fellow Sharons on a couple of occasions. Word seems to have spread of what happened at the Cloister. Now other chapters of Shah worshippers see me as a prime target to offer up to their lady as a sacrifice. Don't worry. I know their tired old tricks better than anyone. They'll need more than a hooded cloak and poison blade to best me. Especially when I have a friend on the inside keeping me abreast of their predictable little plans. None other. The matter of her faith and allegiances remains... complicated, let's say. But 
She is still my oldest friend. I have hopes that perhaps she might turn from Shah entirely, given time. But that's a decision she will have to make for herself. If that day comes, I'll be ready. I don't know. Which is just the way I like it just now. Perhaps I'll just stick a pin in a map and see what I find, or head to the docks in the morning and scrounge a berth to find somewhere new. I'd like to see the islands, maybe, or, or head south to Arm. I heard there's an enclave of werecats that hunt the followers of dark gods by moonlight. I'd love to see if there's any truth to that. But enough about me. What have you been up to? I'm glad you two have each other. Hells, I'd be almost tempted to come along if you'd have me. Perhaps if your adventures ever lead you out of Avernus permanently. Hopefully these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. I'm sure we will, but let's be proactive about it all the same. We're more than capable. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. Don't be a stranger. <sighs> I've missed wine. Had to resort to making my own cider recently, which isn't bad, don't get me wrong. But a girl can't have fun with apples alone. <laughs> you might be onto something there, though the name might need work. Somehow it sounds rude, even though I know otherwise. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> 